Hi everyone, I'm back with your weekly messages. I'm gonna be using the Tarot of the Illuminati for this week's messages. Uh, we're gonna start from, what, what day is it today? Is it the fifth? I'm not sure, let me see. What day is it today? I think today's the fifth. So we're gonna make it from, we'll make it from 12-4. to 12 11 okay this is the weekly message from 12 4 through 12 11 let's see what's going on for all signs we're going to start with the sign of Sagittarius again I'm using the Illuminati tarot deck okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be reading the cards I do not take reversals I just want to make sure that all these cards are in the straight I don't take reversals I do jumpers. If there's a card that falls face forward, then that message is for you, okay? Um, maybe there's a stronger message for you if it falls face up, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and I don't put the cards in a certain arrangement. I take them the way they come out, okay? And I'll show you them so that you can see your messages. I'm going to begin with the sign of Sagittarius. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. I'm going to shuffle five times. Happy birthday to Sagittarius. Yay. We're getting a Sagittarius moon on December 12th. Okay. You're going to be very in your emotions, Sagittarius. You're going to be thinking about which way you want to move forward and what do you want to begin. What are you passionate about? So that's for the sign of Sagittarius. Let me just fix myself here. There we go. Good. So we're going to begin with the sign of Sagittarius and see what's going on for Sagittarius. Four and five. Shuffling the cards and see what's happening for the sign of Sagittarius. What's happening for the sign of Sagittarius this month? What's happening for the sign of Sagittarius? We got two cards that came out. Let's see what they are. The first card you got is Prince of Swords. Communication. Something coming in, in with communication. Maybe a conversation. Maybe something you need to run towards and cut it out. Or maybe something that you need to really get clarity on. So the card of communication. This is a card of an air sign. So some form of communication coming in for you, Sagittarius. We do see the Queen of Cups. This is the card of water. Maybe something that has to do with the emotional. Maybe something that has to do with a water sign. Uh, something that has to do with love. There's some form of communication here. What else is going on for... Um, or maybe you being clear in regards to your emotions and what it is that you want to move forward with or what it is that you want to, you know, focus on in regards to emotions and love, okay? We do get the four of wands. So this has to do with a home, with a family, maybe with a relationship, okay? We do get the two of cups, you know, attracting the love that you want or attracting a love interest, okay? So there's some form of communication, some form of love, something that you're going to want to build on, something that is your wish fulfillment and something that you're planning to move forward with, okay? So definitely you are uh, looking at someone that you feel is your wish fulfillment. There is a love offer here on hand. There is happiness, there is stability, and there is the two of cups. You're wanting to build with this situation, okay? But you're taking it slowly. You're trying not to push it right away, right? Don't push it, right? Because you're planning. You're taking it slow. You're looking at your ships come in. So there is something or someone here that you're interested in that you feel like it, you're going to build something with, okay? Um, and if you are in a relationship, you're trying to bring balance there to it. And try to bring balance to your emotions before moving forward with anything. You know, stabilize your emotions and see what it is that you want to move forward with. And if you want to move forward with a certain person, you need to be clear about your intentions and stabilize your moods and your emotions, okay? Because I see here about stability and bringing in stable emotions with a wish fulfillment. There could be an air, an air sign you're definitely completely, you know, intrigued by. This is, could be, this is the card for Aquarius, okay? So there could be an, an air sign that you really want to build with, that you really want to grow with. What else is going on here for the sign of Sagittarius this month? I mean, not this month, this week. What else is going on here for the sign of Sagittarius this week? Let's see where else this is going. It's definitely an air sign or a relationship that you want to really bring into stability. You really hope that this person, you know, sees you as their future. You really hope to move this forward. Definitely a relationship. What else is going on here for the sign of Sagittarius? 
Yeah, we have a queen of wands. You're very passionate or this person is very passionate about you. You see someone that you can grow with, someone that you feel like there's going to be a lot of growth potential and there's going to be a lot of growth in this new, in this relationship, whether it be new or old. You have a commitment here. You're really working on. You're really working on stabilizing it, on bringing happiness. You're very passionate about moving this forward. Or if you're not in a relationship, you're really wanting to attract that person. You really want to bring someone in that's going to be your wish fulfillment. Someone that you're going to feel like you're very attracted to, okay? And if you are in a relationship, you're working on stabilizing it. And if you if there's someone new in your life, you're really working on stabilizing that energy and bringing and being more passionate and focused and more loving and really communicating that to the other person, okay? But I definitely see forward movement in the love department for you this week, um, Sagittarius. So that's good. Yay. So that is your message for this week, Sagittarius. I hope you have a wonderful week, okay? Now we're going into Capricorn at 558. We're going into the sign of Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn this week. And let's put these cards back. What's going on for the sign of Capricorn this week? We're going to shuffle the cards five times. One. Oh, my pets are running around. Two. I'm trying to do these messages quick, 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 quick for the week. Three. Four and five. Let's see what's happening for the sign of Capricorn this week. What's happening for the sign of Capricorn this week? What is happening for the sign of Capricorn? My pets are like running all over the place. What's happening for the sign of Capricorn this week? What's happening for the sign of Capricorn this week? What's happening for the sign of Capricorn this week? What's happening for the sign of Capricorn this week? Okay, we got three cards. Let's see what they are before we keep on. Okay, we got justice. What needs to be balanced? What needs to be cut off? What kind of stability do you need to bring into your life, Capricorn? This is about... Justice, stabilizing a situation, bringing a balance to your emotions, to a situation, or maybe something working out for you, Capricorn. What else is going on here? We got the nine of pentacles, feeling stable within yourself, knowing you're attracting stability, being stable within your own energy. You know, feeling that justice, that stability, things are working out for you, a wish fulfillment possibly, knowing that you have what it, what it, what you need to attract what you want. Okay, Capricorn? Ooh, we get the eight of swords. Try not to overthink a situation, okay? Do not overthink things. Don't feel like you're stuck in anything because you're not. You come in with stable energy here, Capricorn. So there is some justice, some stability, something that you don't see coming towards you or something that you feel like you've been stuck on or a situation that you feel you've been stuck to. There's a change here coming in. Let's see what's happening. And there's a justice, something working out in your favor. What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn this week? Okay, we have ooh, the five of swords. There is something that you felt like something was trying to, someone was trying to beat over you or someone was trying to win at all costs and you felt stuck in a situation. You felt like you were stuck. What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn this week? Well, you felt like someone was not being honest or truthful or wanting to win at all costs. Ooh, tower. So it caused a tower moment, a tower moment. Something is changing here, Capricorn. You have your stability, but there was something here that you felt stuck on or felt that needed change or something that needed to end, right? Because it was built on forced ground. It wasn't built on stability, right? I feel like you're feeling like kind of still that energy around you, okay? But there is something here of stability in your life. You have stability. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You felt somehow stuck in a situation or in an energy of somehow where someone was being not too honest or wanting to beat you at all costs or something that was not built on steady ground or stability, okay? What else is coming in for the sign of Capricorn? What else is coming in for the sign of Capricorn this week? What else is coming in for the sign of Capricorn? Yeah, the tower happened. When the tower comes in, it's actually good because it changes something that was not truthful, that was not honest, and brings instability into your life. You know, you had to let go of this fell out. Ooh, 
Ooh, queen of pentacles, definitely. You probably caused a tower moment. You probably ended a situation, right? The, the queen of pentacles is coming on here strong. Meaning like, I know what I need to move forward with and I know what I'm not going to take, right? So Capricorn comes in. She has a lot of stability. She's very fruitful. She's a person who wants balance in her life, okay? What else is coming in for Capricorn? Yeah, looking at your stability. Maybe there was a time you felt kind of stuck. You kind of felt like, hey, things are not working out for me. But I see things moving forward for you, Capricorn. I see things moving in a better light. Yeah, four of cups, okay? Maybe there was someone who didn't see the love you had to offer. Or maybe this was you. You didn't see the love that was coming towards you, okay? Yeah, four of cups. Try not to think of the negative. Try to think in the positive or stay in the positive, Capricorn. What else is happening for the sign of Capricorn, the fool? Yeah, you're going in with new energy. You're going in with new energy or someone is coming towards you who's new energy, the fool card here, okay? Someone is really wanting to build something with you. He's facing you. But I'm not sure if you're seeing this love or you want to see this love or maybe you're not ready to see this love or maybe you're not ready for it quite yet. But something in the past really caused you to feel, you know, unbalanced or feel you stuck. But I don't feel you in that stuck energy because you come in as the queen of pentacles. You come in very strongly moving forward, okay? What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn? Oops, we got too many cards. Let's take them out of here. Oh, something fell. I got to pick it up. What's going on for the sign of Capricorn? What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn this week? Ooh, we got the two of cups. Yes, a new love offer, a new situation. We got the queen of swords. You're going to be direct about, about what you want and need. And if they don't come in with that type of energy, you're cutting it out, okay? You're cutting it out. You're walking away from situations that no longer serve you. Um, you're looking for stability. You're looking for balance. There is love offers coming in or there's going to be a love situation and you're going to be clear about what you want and need moving forward. Okay. What else is going on here for the sign of Capricorn? Okay. We got two cards that fell. Let's see what they are. Sorry. Four of pentacles. You're holding back. Or maybe the situation, you feel like you got to look at it clearly before you decide moving forward. You, you're, you are communicating a whole lot about what you want and need in life, okay? You're definitely in a communication mode. You're definitely thinking about situations. Um, justice is coming in because something needed to be made right. Something that made you feel unstable within yourself, okay? There was something that you felt like you were stuck in or a situation that kept on going around in circles and you felt like you, there was no way out, but there is a way out is by setting yourself free, okay? There is a situation where people wanted to win over you or people wanted to get over you, okay? There is a tower moment that happens because something wasn't built in stability, okay? I see you moving forward quickly. I see you moving forward within yourself, bringing in stability to yourself. I don't see you really, I see you like a little bit in the negative mindset, but you are taking a leap forward into your life you're making you're ma you're going into the unknown you're taking you know like the fool you're going into unknown territory territory t territory <laughs> i can't even say it you're moving along into new paths okay you're deciding to move forward in a different way you're deciding to bring things in a different way and it could be someone coming towards you okay capricorn in order to bring a loving relationship or commitment or to attract love you're being clear about your intentions because we got the queen of swords. You could be dealing with an air sign also, okay? Um, and you're cutting away things that no longer serve you, okay? Cutting away in situations and people that no longer serve you. You're holding back and refraining from making any forward movements until you're sure that this thing has stability for you, okay? Until you're sure the person is stable. Until you're sure that this brings instability for you. And you're being, you're being honest. You're being truthful. The Ace of Swords is something brand new coming in or a truth coming in towards you, okay? So definitely you're back and forth here, Capricorn. But I still see you moving forward. You're back and forth, okay? There is, the Fool card is here because there is something new coming towards you. You need to be more open to it, but you're going to be direct also, okay? There is a loving relationship or something or someone wanting to build a relationship with you, but you're holding back still because you want to be clear about how to move forward with this or you want to be clear with your intentions. And if this is something you don't want, you're going to cut it out, okay? What else is going on here for Capricorn for this week? What else is going on here for the sign of Capricorn? I definitely see you moving forward. There was something in the past or some situation that you felt stuck on, but you're 
you know, the tower moment, it ended. Something had to break away. It wasn't built on firm ground, right? There was no stability there, okay? This, this energy keeps on coming into your readings, but I feel like you're moving forward from it. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. This is the truth about an ending. This is a situation that, you know, ended. There is a situation here that ended that no longer served you. You had to cut it out. It didn't leave you with stability. It made you feel like a fool. It wasn't honest to truthful love, and you had to cut it out, but I see you moving forward. What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn? What else is going on for the sign of Capricorn? One to two cards more, and that's... I will end this because this is a long reading. Well, they're kind of confusing. It's a long reading, right? What's happening for the sign of Capricorn? Yeah, Ten of Cups. You're focused on your home, your family, and bringing happiness and probably a new commitment or someone here that's going to bring stability to you, okay? There is something with a new commitment because we got the Two of Cups. Or maybe something ended due to family situations or someone who had family, family problems. That could be it too. What else is going on here for Capricorn? Oh my God, I said one card, but I am, when no reading is confusing, I want to get to the bottom of it, but I'm going to end it. What else is going on for Capricorn? A wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to bring stability to yourself. You're going to balance out your emotion and there is a wish fulfillment coming into it, coming into your energy. So there's something that you're going to be attracting, a wish fulfillment, Okay. Coming into your energy, okay? Could be something new, could be something old. It's not saying here. Definitely moving away from something that just left you feeling unsure. You're bringing in more stability to yourself. You're cutting away situations you don't want. You're holding back from the situation. The Ace of Swords could be a truth or something of, you know, some truth coming in. Ten of Swords is just letting go, you know, letting it end, you know, in order to attract that happiness that you want, okay? Could have been that you were dealing with someone who had family problems, someone who had issues, someone who was in balance, someone who didn't know what they wanted. Um, but I do see a wish fulfillment, okay, or something of that form and bringing instability into your life, okay? But don't overthink it, Capricorn. Do not stay stuck in your mind. Let it go and let it be, all right? Love and light, that is your message, Capricorn. Now we're going into Aquarius at 1718, 1718, that was a long message for Capricorn. I don't like to keep messages this long because this is only weekly, right? So long messages, we don't like. <laughs> so make them short. Let's ask universe, God, and angels to guide us to the short and sweet messages, okay? What's going on for the sign of Aquarius this week? I'm going to shuffle this five times. Three, four, let's see what's going on for the sign of Aquarius. And five, let's see what's happening for the sign of Aquarius. What's happening for the sign of Aquarius? We got one card. Ooh, we got two cards. Let's see what those two cards are. We got the Ten of Cups, happy home, happy family, or maybe really working on your emotional stability with your family. Ooh, Nine of Swords, overthinking things, or stuck in your head, stuck in situations. Maybe there was something in your family or a situation that happened in family and home that you've been stuck in your head about, or a situation that you can't understand, or it's not bringing in stability, or you feel like you're unstable. Could be with a commitment or a commitment of some kind. Yeah, definitely with a commitment of some kind. Uh, maybe home and family made you stuck. I don't know. Let's see what else is going on here. Or maybe there's something going on in your home and family and you feel like it's a, a constant cycle, okay? You're overthinking it. Okay, we got the King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. It has to do with your stability. Maybe with someone you felt like you could have been stable or you would have some stability with, but unfortunately you're overthinking situations. I don't know. Let's see what else is coming in. What else is going on for the sign of Aquarius this week? What else is going on for the sign of Aquarius? You're overthinking situations. You're stuck in your head. Um, could be with your stability. Could be with home and family also getting stuck or feeling stuck or move, feeling stuck and not feeling like you're moving forward. What else is going on here with Aquarius? Nine of Wands, building boundaries, feeling stuck. Maybe someone has boundaries against you or maybe someone has built boundaries because of you. I don't know. 
It's a weird situation. Let's see. This is going to be a long reading too. What's going on with the sign of Aquarius? Maybe you need to have boundaries with your family. You know, you need to cut away with certain situations. There's something here that, you know, was cut out. A situation that needed to be, you, you know, you build boundaries with, you cut it out. Maybe a situation that affected your home and family or your home and family affected the situation. Because we got the Princess of Swords. Maybe someone needed to build boundaries and decided to cut it out. Uh, home and family, you're stuck. You're overthinking, analyzing. There is no stability there. You're building boundaries. Uh, something, a situation, something you need to cut out in order for you to move forward, okay? There is something here that needs to be cut out. What else is going on for Aquarius this week? What else is going on for the sign of Aquarius this week? And it's definitely affecting home and family or home and family has affected you. Yeah, the chariot. There's something in home and family that's holding you back. And it's not letting you find stability. And either you cut it out in order for you to move forward. What are you going to do? How are you going to move forward? And if, if it's with a relationship or a commitment, there's something here you feel stuck in or stuck. Or there was something you built boundaries with. Something that you you tried to cut out or you wanted to cut out. And it has kept you in your head. And it has brought some instability into your life. Or you have made some instability in your own life. In regards to the, you know, the actions that you took. What else is going on for Aquarius? But I see the chariot card. Maybe things will start moving forward for you. What else is going on for Aquarius this week? What else is going on for the sign of Aquarius? It seems like a lot of erratic energy here. What else is going on for the sign of Aquarius? Yeah, the devil. So there's a situation with home and family here, Aquarius, where things got stuck or a situation you felt wasn't moving forward. Uh, you could be dealing with an earth sign because we got the king of pentacles here. You're overthinking, overanalyzing. Maybe you've had really created some boundaries between you and this other person. Maybe you, you communicated in a very sharp way because we got the princess of swords and maybe this person communicated in a very sharp way towards you. Um, we do see you wanting to move forward um, definitely in a situation where you felt attractive or come, you felt a, a strong attraction towards this person or this situation and it's kept you in your head. And I think you allowed family to really, you know, intervene here and a situation didn't work out for you because of that. You allow family and friends to intervene, maybe even children. What's going on with the sign of Aquarius this week? You need to take your energy back and move things forward. Yes, you want to move forward with this connection, but it's something you're very highly attracted to. Yeah, that's your happiness. There's some person here you're very happy with and you allowed your home, family, and friends to really manipulate it. And that's what held you back. You built boundaries with this person in the situation. And so in order for you to find your happiness, it seems like you, you're you wanting to move forward with this situation or this person that you blocked for some reason. What else is going on here with the sign of Aquarius? You blocked some happiness towards you. You blocked something or, you know, you felt your happiest with this person. So I don't know why you blocked it. <laughs> What's going on with the sign of Aquarius? You blocked it because you were, you know, your happiness. You had too many choices or too many things going on in your life. And that's why you blocked that's this happiness. I mean, I feel like you definitely focus on this, this situation. You definitely want to move it forward, right? And you're thinking, how can I move this forward? How can I get back to my happy place? You know, or get back to the situation where I was happiest in. And you're trying to figure out how to do it. What else is going on here for the sign of Aquarius? Yeah. We got the Princess of Cups. So there's definitely love here or a situation that you feel had everything you needed. 
and manifest it into your life. But unfortunately, you just built blockages. But there is still love. You're trying to bring, you're trying to stabilize your emotions in regards to the situation. So I think you need to bring stability to yourself before moving forward with it. But it's definitely someone or something you want to move forward with, okay? Yeah, we get the Empress. Okay, so it's someone you feel has a lot of potential of growth. It's someone you feel has a lot of stability. You feel like this person is, you know, they're prosperous. They know what they want. They know what they need. This person could have cut you off or you felt like you were cut off. Or you felt like the situation wasn't going anywhere. You were overthinking it. But I definitely see you wanting to have growth here. Wanting to move forward with a situation that you feel very attracted to. Because the devil card is here. You could be dealing with a sign of Capricorn. Or someone with Capricorn placements. Um, you're really wanting to move the situation forward. You're looking at your options. You're looking at everything carefully. You're definitely trying to stabilize your emotions so that you could bring in some stability here and move forward with a situation, okay? But please be careful with what you decide. Please be careful with what you hear or with family, you know? Sometimes what holds us back is family, right? A lot of times we get held back into moving forward with situations due to family and friends, right? And you start overthinking things and when truthfully you should have you should have been open, right? To moving something forward but you weren't because you were too busy wondering what family and friends were saying right sometimes we need to let go of that and just let our heart lead us right and do things with stability of course you want to be you know stable with family and you want to be stable in your relationship and you want to work that both together but sometimes we need to make a choice and not let other people talk in our ears okay so that is your overall energy this week is you trying to really move forward in a situation that before you probably cut it out before you build boundaries uh maybe now you're deciding hey you know what i'm going to try to reach out i'm going to try to stabilize my emotions and see if i can grow with this all right so that is your overall energy for this week uh aquarius i hope it resonated with you have a wonderful week now we're going with pisces at 27 12. Let's see what's happening for Pisces at 27 minutes and 12 seconds. We're going to shuffle the cards five times for the sign of Pisces. I always feel like when I'm doing these readings, like I'm not connecting, you know, like I'm like, am I connecting? You know, sometimes you have to question yourself, you know, I'm like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, but there's so many people in this world that I could be connecting. It's just that people have different issues going on and... Sometimes the messages is for some and not for others, right? What's going on for the sign of Pisces this week? What's going on for the sign of Pisces this week? What's going on for the sign of Pisces this week? What's going on? Ooh, we got one card, Pisces, for you. It just came out. Let's see what that card is. We have the Queen of Wands. What are you heading passionate towards? What is? What are you feeling passionate about right now? There's something you're very passionate about or someone you see as very attractive and very passionate. What else is going on with the sign of Pisces? This is the Queen of Wands, but she's also very stern and she likes things a certain way, right? Queen of Wands can be passionate, but she knows what she wants, right? What else is going on for the sign of Pisces this week? What's going on for the sign of Pisces this week? Ooh, we have... The king of pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign that you're very passionate towards. Someone who's very stable. Someone who knows what they want. Someone who can have boundaries too, okay? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're working on passionately on your finances too, for some of you. Ooh, we got the hierophant. This is someone who's very intuitive or you're very intuitive when you're trying to look at the situation and you're trying to feel it out, okay? Yeah. Trying to feel out a situation, you know, you really want the situation, but at the same time, you're trying to feel it out and see where it's going to go. You're unsure right now. It's saying to use your intuition in regards to this person or situation, the higher friend, and get to know them better, okay? Um, if not, you're probably working on your stability, your finances, really bringing stability to yourself, and it's telling you to listen to your intuition moving forward with any choices, 
What else is happening for the sign of Pisces this week? What else is happening for the sign of Pisces this week? What else is happening for the sign of Pisces? Five of Pentacles. Sometimes you feel confused and left out. Five of Pentacles is feeling confused. Five of Pentacles is feeling a lack. Maybe with your finances. Maybe that's why you're trying to build stability. Maybe that's why you're trying to really focus on and hone in is your finances and your stability. You feel left out from a situation, but you're not really left out. There's a warm structure right there. You're the one keeping yourself out from a situation, or you're the one not trying to understand it in the right way. Or maybe with your finances, you have the keys to knowing how to build it, but unfortunately, you keep on making the same mistakes over and over. Uh, four of Cups it is maybe someone not seeing an offer, or maybe you're not seeing things more positively. You need to be more positive moving forward. You're not seeing how to fix a situation or you're not seeing how to make a situation better, whether, if, whether it's your finances. Or maybe you're not seeing that sometimes you're overspending, could be too, or you're overgiving of yourself. Yeah, so definitely you're passionate about moving things forward. You're passionate about bringing in stability. The Hierophant is telling you just take it easy, take it slow, don't rush anything. Five of Pentacles is telling me that sometimes you feel like you're unsure which way you're going or how to move things forward. And Four of Cups is telling me that there's an offer or something coming in, but because you're stuck in your negative frame of mind, you're not seeing this offer or you're not seeing the situation in a more clear way. What else is going on for Pisces here? What else is going on for Pisces here? Nine, Eight of Cups is feeling stuck in your thoughts. Judgment is needing to work things out in the right way or, you know, seeing things better or seeing. There's a situation here you're unsure about, definitely. You're unsure how to move forward, okay? And you want to win at all costs. We got the Six of Wands here. You really want to win at all costs in this situation. It's victory, right? Or being victorious towards it. But I got um, two other cards here. Let's see what they are. The Emperor and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you need to have direct communication. or You need you want to build something. You really want to grow something. But you're unsure. You're feeling like the situation is stuck. Or the situation, someone is not allowing it to grow. Or maybe you're feeling like maybe there's a situation here that I could do better in. Or I could do things differently and make it work out. But at the same time, you're very negative. You're not seeing things clearly. Or maybe you yourself are feeling like this situation is not working itself out. Okay? I feel like a back and forth energy this week for you, Pisces. I feel like you're not sure which way you're going. It's almost like, okay, one way, one day I want to go this way. The next day I want to go that way. Uh, one day I, I'm positive about this. The next day I'm not so positive. Um, there is definitely something you're passionate about, but you're not sure if it's going to work itself out. Um, I see you wanting growth, but at the same time, I feel like there's something here being cut out or maybe a situation that's cutting itself out. Or someone is not seeing what you want or someone is not bringing in the offer that you want or someone is not either you or this person is not seeing the offer. Yeah, you're feeling stuck. There's a back and forth energy here. You really want to win at all costs, but at the same time, you need to take it slow, what it's telling me, okay? You need to take it slow and communicate effectively. If there's something that you want to work on, you want vic victory in, and you're feeling stuck, you need to take it slow, okay? Don't, get, don't let anything get the better of you. Stop overanalyzing. Stop overthinking. Try to bring in more stability when it comes to your emotions and your passions. Try not to be negative right away if something doesn't work out your way. And come in with more stability. You know, and communicate what it is that you want and need, okay? Because I see 
for some reason this this week you're going to be back and forth and unsure about a situation and that's why you need to be clear okay and you need to stabilize your emotions don't be too passionate about something don't go overzealous into something try to hold back and be more stable with anything that you're taking or moving forward okay and stop being in the negative okay and situations may not happen the way you want them to but that's not don't let it bring you down you know, like stabilize your emotions. Don't feel stuck in anything. Don't feel like you can't see the way out because there is a way out. Um, judgment is telling me don't. Judgment is telling me that universe is taking control of things. This is universe. This is God, right? So there's a situation here that you feel there's a back and forth. There's no clarity. You feel like one minute you're happy about it. Next minute you're not sure. Next minute you want to grow, but you yourself need to bring stability to yourself and you need to take things one step at a time to move things forward, okay? So that is your message for this week, Pisces. All right, we got a lot of erratic energy this week. What's going on, people? Let's stop this erratic energy. We're going to deal with Aries now at 3548. It's a lot of back and forth this week. What's going on here? Like not knowing which way to go. Hmm. Could be the energies around. Okay, we're going to shuffle these cards five times. Sometimes we could feel stuck that way. Three. Four. And five. Let's see what's going on for the sign of Aries this week. What's happening for Aries this week? Ooh, we got the Six of Swords moving into calmer water and the lovers. These cards came up upright, Aries. This means that you need to call, you need to balance your emotions, moving forward into a more calmer light and doing things more calmly. And it could be due to a relationship or commitment or something or someone you're working with, okay? The lovers, okay? Definitely trying to move into a more calmer space in regards to your relationship and your commitments it could be with family also trying to move into a more calmer space okay within yourself to bring in stability okay what else is going on with aries this week what else is going on with the sign of aries this week what else Yeah, being direct, being honest, being truthful, coming in clear communication. We got the ten, six of pentacles trying to bring stability, right, into your finances or maybe in a commitment or relationship, maybe in moving forward, right? You need to be more stable with your emotions. What else is going on for Aries this week? What else is going on for the sign of Aries? Yeah, and working on your finances, really. You know, try not to be too cutthroat. You know, be honest and direct, but try not to be too cutthroat. Bring, bring peace into a situation is what you need. Peace, clarity, stability, humbleness. What else is going on for Aries? Yeah, seven of pentacles. Planting the seeds by being stable. Bringing in stability, okay? And we see the two of wands planning for the future. So you're planting the seeds for your future, right? And the only way you can do that is being at peace. Moving things into a more peaceful way or a peaceful situation and moving forward more peacefully in whatever you're doing in your life, okay, Aries? Um, you need to bring stability to your emotions in order to attract what you want in order for there to be growth, okay? What else is going on for Aries this week? Yeah, just bringing stability to your emotions. And if you're in a commitment, you need to be stable there. If there was a situation where, you know, you both were arguing or seeing disagreements, you need to bring the peace into it. And if there's a family situation, try to keep the peace, be direct, focused on stability and on growing things and planning for the future. And then we got, yeah, five of wands. Okay, be careful with this type of energy. This is like arguments back and forth, not, not agreeing on things, you know. People always wanting the better of each other, you know, and trying to win over each other, okay. So try not to be in that type of energy. Again, it's telling you to move forward in a more stable way. What else is going on for Aries this week? What else is going on for the sign of Aries this week? 
What else is going on for the sign of Aries this week? Yeah, yeah. Princess of Swords, being direct, being honest, you know, communication, fast moving communication in order to bring, bring some form of peace. You see how he's putting his head down to her, trying to be peaceful, you know, with home and family, okay? So that is your overall energy this week. When it comes to home and family, you need to bring peace, you know, you need to cut out any negativity. You need to be honest and direct, be more stable with your emotions, you know, make sure that you are coming in with stability because that's the only way you're going to plant the seeds and you're going to grow things if you come in with more stability. I see you looking at or focusing on the future, right? Try not to get into arguments and fights, cut it out from the, if you feel like an energy is erratic, be more communicative, but in a loving way, okay? To bring understanding to a situation, relationship, commitment, or home. And that's the only way you're going to bring in stability, okay? You got to really stabilize your emotions, okay? So that is your message for this week, Aries, okay? Aries has been working on their emotions. Let's hope they continue to work on it and continue to understand people and situations by bringing stability to themselves, okay? What else is going on for Taurus now? What else is going on for Taurus now at 41? 4101 is the sign of Taurus. Let's see what's happening for Taurus this week. Let's see what's happening for the sign of Taurus. I'm trying to get through these readings, but it's not happening. What's happening for the sign of Taurus this week? What is happening for the sign of Taurus this week? What is happening for the sign of Taurus this week? What is happening for the sign of Taurus this week? One more time. Okay, what's happening for the sign of Taurus this week? Ooh, Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning or, or moving forward in a more passionate way, okay? Or passionate conversations, discussions. There's a lot of passionate energy here. Something you want to move forward with passionately. What else is going on for the sign of Taurus this week? Okay, we got a lot of cards. We got the sun. You may be moving forward passionately towards your happiness, okay? Maybe wanting to fulfill something or have a wish fulfillment. Maybe bringing in stability to your own emotions, okay? This is balancing out a situation, Always with balanced emotions. That's how you're going to move forward in a more passionate way, Taurus. Taking a step back and looking at situations carefully before moving forward, okay? So you want to balance your emotions, right? In order for this brand new passionate beginning to happen, you need to balance your emotions on out. You really want to, you're passionate about your happiness and bringing in stability. And you're also taking time to take a step back and look at situations carefully, okay? What else is going on for Taurus this week? What else is going on for the sign of Taurus this week? You may feel like things are moving in slowly or things are, you know, like you want to move forward quickly with something and you feel like things are moving, you know, at one minute things are moving fast and you feel happiness and then suddenly you, you feel like there's a stuck. Okay, I have to take a, a break now or I have to stop this or I, ha or I feel like I'm stuck here because now I have to look at a situation carefully, okay? What else is going on with Taurus this week? Yeah, so maybe there's some form of stuck energy or pulling your energy back to look at yourself, to bring in stability within yourself. Yeah, we see the Prince of Cups. There's an energy of love here. Or maybe feeling like sometimes love gets stuck in some areas or sometimes feeling like love doesn't work out the way you want it to. And feeling like someone is always trying to get the better of you. Or feeling like someone is not being direct or someone wants to win over you. Um, you really are passionate about bringing happiness and stability into your life. You're really trying to look at things carefully. You're really trying to see this love cup. You see this, this Prince of Cups, he's actually looking at this love situation and wondering which way it's going to move. You know, I'm wondering if it's going to move forward in the right way. Because I feel like things lately have been stuck or you're feeling like... You're in the love area. You're feeling kind of confused and unsure. 
but you're definitely wanting to move forward in a more happier way and bringing stability to your emotions. So there could be a situation here that at times makes you feel stuck or makes you feel like the, the person is trying to unite. Not overthrowing you, but trying to control you or overwin in a situation or the person wants to have full control of you or something like that, okay? And that's why you pull back your energy from this person. What else is happening for Taurus this week? Yeah, so, it, you know, sometimes it makes you feel stuck when the situation happens. It makes you feel stuck. You're not sure which way to go because of it. So you pull back your energy. But you're passionate about bringing in happiness and stability into your life. You're looking at situations carefully. You're balancing your emotions in order to move things forward. So it's about you looking at this love relationship and deciding, should I move this forward? Is this something I want to work on? Is this someone I want to be with? Is this something, if this someone is going to provide me what I need? So that's the energy this week, Taurus, for you. And you're deciding should you move forward with this. Okay, so that's the overall energy for you this week. That is what I'm getting. Love and light, Taurus. That is your message. Now we're going into Gemini at 4553. What is happening for Gemini this week? We're going to shuffle the cards five times. what's happening for the sign of Gemini this needs to come out <laughs> this is not <laughs> what's happening for the sign of Gemini this week what's happening for the sign of Gemini this week what's happening for the sign of Gemini this week what's happening for the sign of Gemini this week Ooh, we got the page the prince of swords Strong, fast, moving communication, clarity, coming in with clarity. So this came up face up. Is there something you need to communicate? Is there something you need to say to another person? Or is there some communication or information you need in order to decide which direction you're going, Gemini? I also get the Prince of Wands. You are definitely seeing something, you know, that is passionately heading your way. But you want to communicate effectively with the situation or this person. Definitely some forward movement here, some communication. It could be about moving forward in a more passionate way. It could be something you're passionate about, or it could be someone that's passionate about you, Gemini, and they're coming in with communication. That's nice, right? What else is going on for Gemini? Mm -hmm. Wow, we got the Ace of Pentacles, something brand new, something that's going to bring you stability, something that you're very passionate about. Could be you're passionate about moving forward with a new job offer, or maybe with stabilizing your, uh, your money, your pentacles. Definitely something moving forward towards you passionately. A brand new beginning. It could be with your finances. It could be with bringing stability to your finances. You're getting communication about this. What else is going on for Gemini this week? What else is going on for Gemini? This is a good energy here. Hmm. Ooh, 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 we got the lovers. You came into your own reading, Gemini. That is good. Okay, so there is something here that is gonna that there's gonna be stability. There was something here that you were struggling with. Could be a relationship. Could be a commitment. It could be that you were struggling with your finances and it caused a strain in a relationship, right? Or it could be that you are communicating more passionately in regards to your stability and what you want and need, right? You're letting go of those heavy burdens in order to improve a relationship here, okay? So definitely some improvements coming into your life this week. Um, wherever you felt burdened, there are going to be things that are going to be changing, okay? If you felt like your money was a burden for you, I see you putting down that burden. If you felt like a relationship was a burden, I see you like being more direct with this person or this relationship, okay? What else is going on for Gemini this week? Yeah, you want that. You want more stability. You want happiness. You want passions. You don't want burdens. 
And if a relationship is causing this, you're going to go in a different direction because I do see an Ace of Pentacles, which is new beginnings, okay? What else is happening for uh, Gemini? Yeah, Queen of Swords, just being direct, being honest. Uh, King of Swords here, we got the, the, part, the couple here, King and Queen of Swords. And both of you are going to be coming in direct if it's a relationship. You're going to be cutting things out that you no longer want. You're going to have the strength and willpower to move forward in a better way, in a new way. And you're planning for your future. So you're definitely working on partnerships. You don't want a heavy burden. You're cutting that out of your life. You want a new, more stable way of moving forward. I think something new is coming into your life, definitely. There is something new here, something you're going to move forward with. You're going to have the strength to let go of situations that no longer serve you. And you're going to move forward in a more different way. And I see the Ace of Pentacles. So if something that's going to bring you stability and happiness, okay? There is something in you that is changing in order to attract that stability and happiness in your life. If there's a partnership that is a struggle, if there's anything that's a struggle, even a job or anything like that, you're just going to move your energy away from that, okay? And I think you're more focused on the new and you're focused on building stability for yourself and your finances and your money and planning for the future. That is your overall energy this week, Gemini, okay? Now let's see what's happening for cancer this week. Uh, 5115, what's happening for the sign of cancer this week? At 5115, we're doing cancer. Let's see what's happening for the sign of cancer this week. We're going to shuffle the cards five times. One. Two, three, hot, four, and five. Let's see what's happening for cancer this week. What's happening for the sign of cancer this week? Ooh, we got the Seven of Cups. Many options. Maybe looking at many opportunities. Maybe delving into too many things at one time. Could be a possibility also. So there's a lot of options and opportunities in front of you. You just need to make a choice. You're probably overwhelmed about situations. What else is going on with cancer this week? Yeah, we see the Empress really wanting to grow, build stability. Maybe with a job, maybe with a commitment, maybe with a relationship. It could be anything right now. I see you really wanting to build, wanting to grow, okay? I see there's a lot of choices around you, Cancer, okay? What else is going on for the sign of Cancer this week? You could be dealing with the sign of Aries also. We got the Three of Pentacles, so working on something. You're working on a situation you want to see grow. There's a lot of options and opportunities around you, but you really focus on only situations that are going to help you grow and bring stability into your life, okay? You're in the empress mode. You really want to grow. You really want to work on a situation. could be with work. There's a situation here with work. There's a lot of opportunities coming in for you. I feel you're going to be working on a situation. You're going to be working on your stability, on your money, on your finances. What else is going on for cancer? Yeah, the death card. Letting go of situations that no longer serve you. Yeah, there was an ending of a situation or something that you need to let go of that, that no longer serves you, okay? It could be an emotion within yourself in order to build stability. You're definitely wanting to grow something, but at the same time, it's almost like you need to end a cycle or end something within yourself in order to have that growth. If you feel doubts about situations, if you've been feeling erratic, um, there's something definitely that needs to be come to a closure or something that needs to end or a way of you doing something in order to find growth in a situation, okay? Um, what else is going on for cancer this week? I think this has been the overall energy for every sign. There's going to be a lot of back and forth this week for most signs. What's going on for cancer this week? 
Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aries. What else is going on for Cancer this week? You really want stability, but you know that there's something that needs to be ended or changed. What else is going on for Cancer this week? Yeah, you're the alchemist. You can attract what you want. You have all the tools necessary to bring growth, but there's some part of you that needs to end. Something in a situation or something that needs to be done with. Something that, that has kept you confused. Something that you've kept kept you like, which way should I go? Maybe it could be an, an energy within yourself, right? There could be something within yourself that you need to end, that you need to change in order to move forward in a better way, okay? Yeah, there's something within yourself that you need to end. There's a lack of within yourself that you need to let go of, Cancer, okay? Because there is a, there's an opportunity here of growth. But in order to have that growth, you need to stop something within yourself that's blocking it, okay? It could be your own negative thoughts. could be your own negative way of de dealing with situations or holding on to situations that no longer serve you. And you, need, and you need to let them go. What else is going on for Cancer this week? What else is going on for Cancer? Yeah, the moon card. There's a lot of uncertainty around you or feeling unsure about situations or feeling negative. And that's a situ that's something you need to let go of within yourself. Sometimes you feel like you want to go a direction and then sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like I can make this happen and then you don't make it happen because you're so unsure about yourself. Okay, Cancer? You're unsure about how to move forward. And that's something about you that needs to end. You're confused. Sometimes you get into too many situations or maybe you're thinking about too many things and it doesn't help your growth. But there is, there is, this is the thing. When you have the Empress here, there is a possibility of growth. There's a possibility of attracting happiness. There's a, there's a great possibility of working with others to create growth, right? But at the same time, there's some negativity or something about you that holds you back. That holds you from fulfilling things. That keeps you locked into your negative frame of thoughts. And keeps you overthinking situations and not knowing things. You're not always going to know everything. So what? Let go of the negativity and move forward in a more positive light. Okay? That is your message for this week. That's what I'm seeing here. And don't worry, you're not the only sign who has this erratic energy. I've been feeling since I've been starting this energy, that this readings, that there's a lot of signs who are back and forth and they're not sure which way they're going to go. It is the end of the year. A lot of us are trying to decide what things we want to keep in our lives and what we don't. All right, so that is your energy for this week, Cancer. Now we're going into Leo at 5737. What's going on for the sign of Leo? I'm going to shuffle these cards five times. One. One, looking at my dog, too. She has that long body and it, it walks kind of differently sometimes, you know. Three. Four. Five. What's going on for the sign of Leo this week? What's happening for the sign of Leo this week? Ooh, five of swords. Is there something you want to beat or if there's a situation that you feel is getting someone who's trying to get the upper hand on you or you feeling like you need to get the upper hand on someone or you feeling like someone is being a trickster trying to get away with something are you feeling someone is talking behind your back? Because we got two people talking behind the back there. Five of Swords is never a good energy. Five of Swords is like erratic energy or unsure about situations, persons, and things. Okay, Leo? What else is going on here? Oh, God. We're getting this other reading again. Here we go. This week is kind of like unsure, uncertainty, uncertainty this week. Yeah, death card, an ending of a situation or maybe feeling like there's a situation that needs to end. Could be with a Scorpio, could be you dealing with a situation that, or maybe with your own feelings, you know. Maybe there's something in your own feelings that hold you back. 
Maybe there's something that within you that you need to let go of. Maybe there's some negativity within yourself that doesn't let you see things in a more passionate way. Because we do got the Queen of Wands here. So there's something you're definitely passionate about or something you want to move passionately towards. But there's something within you that holds you back. What else is going on for the sign of Leo? Yeah, we got the Empress here seeing things or wanting to build things or wanting to grow things in a situation that you're passionate about. But at the same time, you're kind of overthinking, overanalyzing. Same storyline with Cancer. Same storyline that's happening for most of the signs this week. What else is happening for Leo this week? Yeah, stuck in your head, wanting to definitely grow something, but there's something within yourself that makes you feel it's not gonna work out. This is not gonna work out. I feel like things are not going right. I feel like a situation may not work out. What's going on with the sign of Leo this week? What's going on for the sign of Leo this week? Well, we are going into Mercury retrograde, so the energy could be, you know, right there, right now. Yeah, Princess of Pentacles. Okay, working on your stability. You need to work on your own self and work on your own inner stability. That's how you're going to grow things, okay? You are having negative thoughts or maybe thinking negatively or maybe you're feeling maybe the situation is not going to work out. There's something you're definitely passionate about and you want to grow, but at the same time, you got to bring stability within yourself, Okay. There is letting go of these negative thoughts, negative feelings, letting go of negative situations or negative people in your life, right? And also moving in more passionately towards a more abundant place and bringing more stability to yourself, okay? What else is going on with the sign of Leo this week? What else is going on for the sign of Leo? Just bringing stability to your emotions, Leo. Yeah, you feel like someone is not being honest or a situation is not clear. You feel like you could be very passionate about this person, but... Wow, this week is a lot about people unsure where they're going to be or how they're going to move forward. Okay, so this is what I'm getting for you, Leo. There is something here you want to grow. There's someone you want to grow with. You feel like you can have stability with this person, but you're unsure right now because you're unsure because there's a lot of things in the background that you don't know. Um, there's a there's a place within you or there's some negativity within yourself that you need to cut away with. There could be a situation that you need to cut out. There could be a situation within yourself because I feel like the death card here is saying, hey, you know what? There's parts within you that you need to let go, negative parts. And start thinking more positively, more passionate, because that's how you're going to grow. That's how you're going to bring growth into your life. That's how you're going to bring in stability. But there is a situation you just don't trust quite yet. All right? And you're passionate about it. There's a lot of passion within you in regards to the situation, person, and things. But you're not sure. You're not sure which way it's going to go, okay? not sure yet so this week is about you looking at a situation carefully it's about bringing stability within yourself it's about knowing the truth and knowing if you're going to move forward with this person or situation you know you're starting to look at situations and there's a part of you that you need to end it's about thinking negatively okay try not to think of negatively okay you're going to find out the truth you're going to find out what others are doing you're going to find out if the situation is really for you but you need to let go of the negative thoughts and the negative patterns within yourself that hold you back from your potential. And you can find inner growth within yourself. You can find stability and passions within yourself. You don't need to hold on to anything or anyone. That's the message for you, Leo, okay? All right, let's begin with Virgo. What's going on with Virgo this week at 103.50? What's going on for the sign of Virgo this week? What's going on for the sign of Virgo this week? I'm going to shuffle the cards five times. Let's see what's going on for the sign of Virgo this week.
What's going on for the sign of Virgo this week? What's going on for the sign of Virgo this week? Let's see if we get the same storyline here. <laughs> What's going on for the sign of Virgo? Okay, we got one card that popped out. Let's see what that card. We got two cards. We got ooh, seven of wands. Keeping troubles away. Keep making boundaries. Um, having boundaries. Keeping negative situations, negative people away from your energy or trying to keep negative things away from your energy or away from your situation. You could be dealing with a queen of wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign or maybe you're trying to build boundaries with this fire sign or you're trying to, you know, keep problems away from you and this fire sign possibly. I'm not sure. It could be you just building boundaries with this fire sign. What else is going on for Virgo this week? Or maybe you deciding to move. Yeah, there's a lot of burdens here. Her heavy burdens or heavy situations. There's something you feel burdened by. There's something that you're not quite sure. You feel like you're carrying a heavy burden or you're feeling like you're carrying the heavy load by yourself, Virgo. What else is going on with Virgo? Yeah, you're, you're needing to come in and, and be direct. You're needing to be passionate about what you no longer are going to accept. You're having boundaries. What's going on with Virgo this week? Yeah, justice. You want to bring balance. You feel a heavy burden about a situation. Something that's not balanced. You feel like you need to bring balance to a situation. You feel like this person is making you feel heavily burdened. Or maybe you're heavily burdened by a work, a job, or something that you... Feel like it's not working itself out you feel like you struggle you're feeling like you're putting all the work into it you feel like you need to be, build boundaries you need to cut something out or keep issues at bay you really want stability in your life what's going on with virgo you want the truth you want stability you want justice what's going on with virgo this week what's going on with the sign of virgo this week What's going on for the sign of Virgo this week? Yeah, temperance. Things are going to take time. You need to balance your emotions. Things are going to take time. Um, there's something here that you feel a heavy burden towards. There's something here that you want more stability with. There's something here that you feel like it's not flowing the way it should. But you got the angels here trying to direct you. Because you got a big strong angel here coming in saying you need to balance your emotions. Maybe there's something that's overwhelming you, Virgo. Maybe there's something that you feel a heavy burden towards. You feel like there's no justice. You feel like every time you try to move forward, things don't happen the way you want them to. But Temperance is saying give this time. Take time to balance yourself out. Take time to work on yourself. Yeah. And then you'll attract what you need. There's an Ace of Pentacles. Definitely wanting something to stabilize itself. Definitely wanting a new beginning. Or you want something to come in with more stability or someone. But you feel like it's not happening. It's held back. Could be with your finances. You feel a lack of. And you need to hold yourself back from a situation. Because you feel like there's a heavy burden here. So definitely what temperance is telling you is take your time. Take some time for yourself. Bring some stability to your emotions. Right? And hold back. If you feel like there's a situation you're unsure from or you're unsure about, hold back. Okay, because you want a brand new beginning. You want to bring stability. You want to bring more money flow into your life. Maybe more happiness, right? But you feel like it's not happening. There's a heavy burden. So what Temperance is saying, work on yourself. Pull yourself, pull your energy back. And just stabilize yourself, right? And let go of any situation that's not working out for you. Or bring stability within yourself. Balance out your energy and then decide which way you're going to move forward. Okay, Virgo, that is your message for this week. Okay, now we're going to do Libra at 108.46. What is going on for Libra this week? What is going on for the sign of Libra this week? What is going on for the sign of Libra this week? What is going on for the sign of Libra this week? Okay, let's see what's going on for Libra. What's going on for the sign of Libra this week?
What's going on for the sign of Libra this week? We got one card that fell out slowly. Three of Swords. What is your heartache break about? What is your heartbreak about? What is something that's bothering you? Something that's affecting your emotions, Libra? Is there something that is affecting your stability, your emotions, or the way you feel? My dog wants to go back to her cage. Which is stop? What are you doing? So, Libra, there is something here but Three of Swords. Maybe there's some lie or some situation that you feel is affecting you, you know, in a negative way. Maybe there's a situation that you feel heartbroken about. Let's see what's going on with Libra. What's going on with Libra this week? What's going on with Libra this week? Three of Swords. What's going on with that energy, Libra? Why are you feeling negative? Why are you feeling heartbroken? What is something that is causing you issues? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, competition. Maybe there's a lot of arguments, disagreements in a situation. Maybe you're feeling like things are not working out. Maybe you're feeling heartbroken. Maybe you're feeling like a uh, third party situation. Uh, could be someone that isn't being honest with you and you, you're having regrets about that, Libra. And there's a lot of arguments. What else is going on with Libra this week? Yeah, it has to do with a relationship, a commitment. It has to do about building or wanting to build, but unfortunately things are not working out the way you want them to. I feel there's an empress here. There's someone who's stern, stubborn, maybe wants things their way. Maybe you feel like there could be growth here, but there has to be uh, more stability in this commitment relationship. There's something here that is, there is a potential for growth, but someone is not being honest. Yeah, you want to focus on bringing stability, happiness towards yourself, but there's something you're feeling heartbroken. You're feeling like there's too much competition too many arguments, too many fights, too many disagreements. You really want to stabilize it. You really want to work on it. You feel like this. there's potential for growth and happiness here. What else is going on for Libra this week? What else is going? Maybe it's you, your own feelings. Maybe you're the one who having this erratic emotions and energy in regards to the situation. Yeah, six of cups. You want to bring balance here. You want to bring balance or stability but you're feeling confused. There's some confused energy here in regards to a situation. What else is going on for Libra this week? It could be with a past situation or something you've been dealing with for a while now. You could feel like there is, um, yeah, there's a hangman. So there's a situation here that feels stuck. You're unsure about. There's a lot of disagreements, arguments. Could be in regards to relationship or commitment. There's something that you want to build or someone you want to build with, but you're unsure quite yet. You're not sure which way it's going to go. You feel like it could lead you to a happy place, but at the same time, there is... Could be third-party situation. Could be someone who's lying. Could be someone who has hurt you. Someone who you feel like there's constant arguments. And you feel now that there's a stuck situation. You don't know which way you're going to go. So this week, you need to figure out if you want to continue this. If you want to continue in the same place you're at. Maybe you're holding back from happiness because you're afraid of being cheated on. Or you're afraid of the arguments and fights. You're afraid that things may not work itself out and you're feeling stuck. Or maybe you're in a situation where you feel that way, right? There's arguments, there's fights. Yeah, okay, here we go. We're stuck again. So this week is for you to... Take a step back, it's telling you. Look at the situation carefully and then decide how you're going to move it forward. That is your message for this week, Libra. Okay? Now we're going to Scorpio. What's going to happen for Scorpio this week? At 113.43 is Scorpio. What's happening for the sign of Scorpio? We're going to shuffle this, these cards five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see what's happening for the sign of Scorpio this week. What's happening for the sign of Scorpio this week? What's happening for Scorpio this week? 
What's happening for the sign of Scorpio this week? What's happening for the sign of Scorpio? Ooh, we got one card. We got two cards. Okay. We got the Princess of Pentacles. Are you working on your stability? Are you working on your finances? Are you working on focusing on your stability? You're working on building your stability and happiness. And you're probably working on building happiness with your children because we see a little child here on a horse and moving things in a more positive way. You're really working on your stability, working on yourself, working on your finances, and trying to bring happiness into your life. Scorpio, what else is going on for Scorpio? Hmm. Yeah, home and family. You're focused on bringing happiness into your home and family. Happiness, stability, trying to be stable with your emotions, Scorpio. What else is going on here? What else is going on for Scorpio this week? Okay, let's see what else is going on for Scorpio. All these cards pop. Oh, three of swords. Maybe you're trying to bring stability to something that you felt heartbroken to, heartbroken from. Maybe you're trying to really stabilize your own emotions and trying to work on yourself and give happiness and peace to yourself. Even though you felt there was a three of swords or someone who was lying or being mischievous or not being truthful and honest in how they were moving forward. There have been arguments and fights and situations where there have been lots of disagreements. Um, could be due to your stability. Maybe it could be due to uh, someone who... Mm. Yeah, I think it's more towards your stability. There's something have to do here with finances and you having arguments and disagreements. Maybe someone is being, you know, manipulating a situation. Maybe there was a third party. Maybe there was a situation that caused a lot of disagreements. And you're unsure now. You're unsure. There's an uncertainty in here. You do want to work on your happiness, but your own your own emotions, your own uncertainty. Because the moon card is about uncertainty. You could be dealing with a cancer. You can be dealing with an earth sign here. But there's some uncertainty here. And there's something that you're uncertain about. And it's causing you to feel instable in your own emotions. And it, it is affecting home and family, but you're trying your best to bring stability to yourself. You're very much trying to bring stability to yourself. Let's see what else is happening here. What else is happening for the sign of Scorpio this week? Yeah, you need to balance your emotions. You're feeling unstable. You're truly, you truly, truly, truly trying to stabilize home and family and your own emotions in regards to a situation that you're unsure about. There's a lot of emotions going on within you. And you want to attract happiness. You want to be happy in your home and family with your children. Um, you want to find happiness. You want to find a balance. But there's something within yourself that's causing this. Causing these, you know, issues. Is your own emotions. Your, it is affecting your stability. And it is causing arguments. And it's causing issues in the home and family. And you need to work on yourself in regards to that. What else is going on? Yeah, so working on yourself. Yeah, there's an end. The world. You want to bring an end to a back and forth situation. You want to bring an end to this, right? You need to bring an end to a situation that is not clear. You need to bring an end to these arguments, these fights, because it's not causing anything good for home and family, and it's messing with your own stability, right? You feel like you could have that stability, but you need to find it within yourself, okay, Scorpio? Because it feels here like you're trying your best to navigate. You're trying your best to end the situation or to bring closure to a situation, but unfortunately... You're unsure of what's happening around you. And there's arguments, there's fights, there's disagreements. But this is where the ending needs to happen. You need to stop trying to control everything and stop trying to manipulate people or not needing to stop other people from manipulating you because this is how you feel. What's going on with Scorpio? Okay, so we got three cards. 
Yeah, King of Swords. There's an end of a situation, a cutout. Something that needs to be ended here could be with an air sign. Um, you want it, maybe you want it to, this uh, situation to end or go away. Unfortunately, there is an Ace of Pentacles here. There's an, a brand new beginning or brand new something coming in. And this is what you wanted to stop or you didn't want it to happen. Why wouldn't you want a brand new situation to come in or a brand new something to happen? I don't know. You're back and forth. You're unsure. You have a lot of uncertainty. There is a cycle that ended here. You need to let it go. There's you overthinking. And now there's a hangman. No movement anywhere. You need to take back your energy. You need to over, you need to not overthink. You need to take, you need to take a step back and let go of a situation that's not working for you, right? If there's something with the home and family, it's not working, let it go. You know, focus on yourself. It's telling you to focus on yourself. That's where your greatest happiness is. Focusing on yourself and letting go of situations that don't no longer serve you. Um, try not to control anything or anyone. There's a completion of a cycle here, but definitely you don't want to complete a cycle or you want something to continue. I don't know. Because I get all this energy of wanting to end it. And then you're back to square one where you want to begin it again. And then you're stuck. And you're overanalyzing and overthinking. The truth is for you to find your happiness right now, Scorpio, is for you to move forward and balancing your own energy and move forward and bringing peace and happiness within the home. Even if it means agreeing to whatever situations come up. Even if it means, okay, you want to do this with another person, you want to go ahead and do this in your life, that's your business. That's how you're going to unstuck all this energy and how you're going to come into a more stable opportunity is accepting it because if not you're stuck you're stuck overthinking over analyzing and you're stuck in not knowing which way to go there's a choice that needs to be made here and the choice is to choose yourself choose yourself and choose to come in with more stability more truthfulness right and choose to let people be where they want to be even if it's not where you want to be it doesn't matter what choices people make around you. What matters is the choice that you decide to move forward. Even if it means independently. Because the Princess of Pentacles, she's very independent, right? She's the type of person who's like, I'm moving forward in a more stable way with myself. And that's where I'm going to find happiness within myself, right? And that's where I'm going to bring balance to my home, my situation, and my energy, right? And that's where I'm going to attract what I need. And I'm going to let people do what they need to do. And not arguing and not fighting because what it causes is three of swords, agony, heartache, right? So you want to let go of that. And right now, you need to pull your energy back. And you need to look at every situation differently in order to move forward in a better way. So right now, there's going to be kind of like a stuck energy until you fix within you what it is that you want. Until you fix within you, hey, I'm happy with myself, by myself, and I can create my own happiness. I don't need anyone else to create that for me. That is your energy this week. Love and light, Scorpio. Have a wonderful week. Thanks for listening, everyone. It has been a hard week to read these messages. I think this week we're going to be back and forth with our energies and knowing which way to go. I think there's a lot of things in interplaying this week. And remember, Mercury is going retrograde, so it's going to be a phase of looking back and seeing what it is that we want to move forward with okay so that's the energy this week have a wonderful week enjoy your monday and um love and light to you all let god lead you let your intuition your heart and your mind be in agreement and let your intuition lead you i always close my eyes when i think about my intuition and, and focusing and being close to god right because there are situations that are all over the place right now right but by the time next year comes, things will be much easier, right? We'll know which way we're going to move forward. This energy this year has been kind of erratic. Um, a lot of planetary movements, a lot of things were back and forth. But we're either going to move forward with the situations or we're not. Or we're either going to take our energies back and decide to work on ourselves. Love and light. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.